interval pentapartitioned neutrosophic sets. They can be considered as an extension of interval quadripartitioned neutrosophic sets, and both these classes have been introduced by Surapati Pramanik, and our presentation is based strictly uh, on the paper by of Pramanik. Yes, so you should look at the bibliography for details. And you should know that in general, this interval neutrosophic sets, both quadri and pentapartitioned, they come from the study of neutrosophic sets as such, which have been presented many years ago by Smarandache. And there are some authors who defined quadri and pentapartitioned single valued neutrosophic sets. And in fact, you can find um, here on this channel, on my channel, you can find several uh, videos, especially about pentapartitioned and heptapartitioned sets, if you are interested, single valued sets. And now, what about this newest class introduced by Pramanik? Um, assume that W, capital W, is our fixed universe, fixed set, and then we define an intuitionistic pentapartitioned neutrosophic set over W in the following way. As you can see, it consists of such six tuples, where each tuple consists of small w, the element of our universe, point, and its element, this element has five functions. Um, five functions are evaluated for him. Uh, where each function, well, mm, this is specific. This membership functions, their values are not numbers, but as you can see here, their values are intervals. And these functions represent truth, contradiction, ignorance, unknown, and falsity. But of course, you may find, uh, you know, different interpretations, economical or philosophical. Um, we have this assumption that if we take suprema of this uh, intervals and their sum, then this sum does not exceed 5, is not bigger than 5, and it's greater or equal to 0. For example, uh, here is our universe, W1, W2, W3, we have three objects, and now we may discuss, among many others, these two intuitionistic pentapartition neutrosophic sets. Okay. Each object uh, has its um, fuzzy degree, yes, has in, its interval of truth, contradiction, and so on, and so on, and so on. Finally, we have falsity. And uh, these assumptions are, of course, this one and, and this one here are satisfied. So we have two sets of this form on the same universe, two evaluations of these objects in terms of these intervals. Now, core theory. We say that IPNS is empty if it is of the form here. This is defined by our author, yes. Um, perhaps uh, this is defined for any uh, universe and for any elements, uh, so we may assume that this always holds. And something similar is with unity, which consists of these intervals. In fact, you know, these intervals are reduced to numbers. Yes, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 0. What about the notion of inclusion? If we have two intuitionistic pentapartition neutrosophic sets over the same universe W, then we can say that D1 is contained in D2 if and only if the following conditions are satisfied. Uh, to a certain extent, they are, uh, they perhaps, I hope so, that they agree with certain, uh, you know, logical intuitions. Um, be as it may, all these formal uh, definitions will lead us to the conclusion that this, the algebra of the sets is perhaps uh, the Morgan algebra, at least, if not just bool, Boolean. So, uh, these are these conditions that, for example, um, lower limit of truth interval of D1 should not exceed lower limit of truth interval of D2, and so on and so on. And two sets are equal if and only if 
we have both inclusions as it's written here. The notion of complement, if we have D, then it's complement. Well, we may use this symbol or, or, or these symbols. Uh, its complement is defined in the following manner. Uh, for example, in its truth uh, interval is uh, a falsity interval of the initial uh, set D. Falsity interval of uh, D prime is uh, truth interval of D, and so on. And of course, there are other changes like here and like here. Uh, as you can see, the idea is that, for example, we have this changes. Uh, you may meditate upon it. Um, so, for example, if we have d1 from our initial example, then we may calculate that its complement is this set. Um, I've calculated this and I hope that, uh, that there is no any mistake, uh, but you may check this. Yes, of course. You should. As for the intersection, the idea goes as follows. If D3 is an intersection of D1 and D2, then we define lower and upper limits, infima and suprema of uh, truth intervals of D3, uh, of intervals of D3, truth interval, contradiction interval, and so on. We define them in the following way. Well, quite complicated. Mm, at least at first glance, some intuition and some mm, mathematical requirements. And here we have an example for D1 and D2 from our example 1. We should obtain this. You may calculate this using, uh, using these formulas on, on this page. Uh, as for the union, these are our definitions. Um, well, symmetric uh, in some sense when compared to the intersection. Uh, we do not quote any, any, any example here, but one can easily find an appropriate example in the original paper of Pramanik. One can prove that both intersection and union of this interval pentapartition neutrosophic sets, that they are commutative, Moreover, both these operations are also associative. Moreover, we have idempotence. And there are also other properties like absorption law, which is here. So they are very typical for the algebra of sets. And the same can be said about this. Uh, as you can see, an intersection of an arbitrary set D1 and empty set gives us empty set. Union of D1 and 1 gives us uh, 1, gives us unity. Um, here we have um, the Morgan laws, so everything is okay. Uh, and finally, so so we have. I'm not sure. At least the Morgan's algebra. Um, perhaps we should check distributivity of these operators. But be as it may, the author finally declares: in the future, we shall develop the logic system based on the truth value based IPNS and utilize the theory to deal with practical applications in the areas such as information fusion, bioinformatics, multi angel intelligence, and web intelligence, and so on. Uh, here is our bibliography, as you can see. The main paper is, oh, sorry, is this one, Interval Pentapartition Neutrosophic Sets on Vihra, unfortunately. And there are some other papers on uh, quadri, penta, and heptapartition, single valued or, or interval sets. Thank you very much for your attention.